there is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. What do you think of when you hear the word thin? A butterfly's wing? The edge of a coin? A centimeter? A millimeter? Or 0 0.2 millimeter? Some 4,000 years ago, along the banks of the Yellow River, the Longshan culture achieved something remarkable, a fusion of superb craftsmanship and a basic material. Only a few products of this union have survived down to the present day. Eggshell black pottery goblets. Wherever you look, the emergence of culture and civilization has always been heralded by mastery of art of pottery. But there's something different about the black pottery produced by the Longshan culture. Across the archaeological community, there's a general consensus that nothing from the same period rivals Longshan black pottery goblets in delicacy. What's more, the various shapes and sizes of the black eggshell pottery goblets indicate they were not mass-produced articles. It seems each one was individually handcrafted with painstaking skills. In fact, the level of craftsmanship is such that it remains unrivaled to this very day. It is hard to make pottery as thin as this, even using modern technology. So, how were they made? No one knows for sure. All we can say is that they were made on a potter's wheel, an extremely fast, accurate, and stable one. Until the kilns and workshops that produced them are discovered, we can only marvel and imagine how these delicate works were produced 4,000 years ago. It's possible to say more with certainty about the clay that was used. Fine silt deposited in ancient rivers and lakes. Once carefully rinsed and washed, it became a material of extraordinary malleability and durability. Part of the secret might also lie in the kilns used to fire them, the temperatures they could achieve, and the time these black eggshell pottery goblets spent inside them. Firing almost certainly explains the color. A technique known as sealed firing allows carbon molecules to penetrate the clay at high enough temperatures, thus coloring it before it's polished. But however it was achieved, the effect is stunning. A mysterious black metallic luster that even today, after 4,000 years, evokes feelings of reverence and awe. High-end products like these were certainly not for the mass market, so to speak. So, who were they for? And what purpose did they serve? The most likely explanation is that they were sacrificial vessels, the preserve of the elite ruling class, used to showcase and highlight power and status. As it spread down the Yellow River, the pottery produced by the Longshan culture became even more sophisticated. Underlying this improved technology and craftsmanship is an increasingly more sophisticated social order. But pottery had a fatal drawback. It was weak and brittle. But times were about to change. A new material was on its way, one that would herald the arrival of a new age, bronze. 